Good morning, my friends. So, um, I'm going back to Chloe Ting in the hopes that that might help my internal system, which is definitely not happy. Um, I have, through the course of this, since whatever it was that hit me in March, um, which I'm now suspecting might have been viral rather than the parasite my GP suspected, um, it's just upset everything. And they haven't resettled. In fact, things got worse when I tried the anti-parasite thing. So, um, yeah, not very happy about that. Very uncomfortable insides. Um, just feels incredibly inflammatory. A lot of bloating going on and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going back to Chloe Ting partly because I know that if my exercise decreases, my estrogen levels go up because of the fact that I'm on HRT and I'm not using it. So I think changing to the hybrid calisthenics may possibly have been a mistake on that front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Chloe Ting and then maybe later in the afternoon I will do some of the hybrid calisthenics stuff just to work on specific muscle groups. So... I'll probably be end up doing a bit more exercise, but hopefully that'll make a difference. Um, extra excess estrogen can cause gastro issues as well. So it's entirely possible I've created the perfect storm for myself um, with the issues I was already having. And then the anti-parasite stuff and then the exercise change. So go back to how things were on that. Can't do anything about having taken the anti-parasite stuff. Aside from taking probiotics, and I'm taking aloe vera capsules as well, hopefully that will help. Um, and I've got appointments over the next couple of weeks with an alternative therapist and a gastroenterologist. See what they come up with. Fingers crossed they come up with something because this is not fun. Um, yeah, one other person is in the household is having issues, but he's pretty sure his were set off by the antibiotics he had to take and he's probably right on that because those really do a number so i've got him on probiotics as well so anyhow uh, i'm going to get this workout started um yeah and hopefully doing that and the fact that i've given up sugar so i'm about two weeks now sugar free hopefully that'll start to make a difference to the this and the weight weight has gone down below 80 kilos now uh, since giving up the sugar so that is good um, but it needs to go down even further that's okay i should be going by the bmi stuff i should be 60 kilos and i'm 20 over that or just under 20 over that which is too high so let's just take the juicy off because I don't want to be doing that in the middle of all this. That would not be ideal. A little bit of water. I will likely need that through this. And let's get started. Yeah. And I'm doing um, an hourglass challenge. Sorry, I've just got to shift the chair that's sitting in front of the computer screens so I can see what I'm meant to be doing. Right. So this one is, I think, all abs. Oh, 
I think half my problem with this one is all this extra in the way here. And the fact that I'm not as flexible through the back as I used to be. Definitely feeling it. But also than I do with the hybrid calcinex like My knees are just slipping. <sighs> so it's supposed to be fine today. And there's rain on the window again. We haven't had a day that's been sunny long enough for at least two weeks now for me to be able to do any of the plastering because the last bits of plastering I need to be able to see. I need good lighting and I don't have it. Okay, this is definitely harder than the hybrid calcium stuff. Oof. Okay, this one's going to be interesting. Sense. Okay, I can't do this one at the moment. We'll do more spider mans. I've got one sore toe if I had a corn removed under the toenail and it hasn't healed. So then I had another go at it yesterday. Whoops. So normally I'd be using resistance bands, but considering the break I've taken, we're going back to no resistance bands.
I'll play my apparently. So I'm all set up in my plastering yet, which is old work out here, so and suspecting I am not going to be able to actually do the plastering. Because the sky is still all grey and horrible. It's still spitting. It's just not helpful. If this keeps up, I may have to actually get myself a ring light. Okay, so these are the sorts of things that do need to mix. Something to do with the back joint tension, I think. I'm not sure how much you can see because the back joint feels but basically using the glutes to lift up the legs and going wide and then narrow. Okay, in and out. Okay, so this is one of the ones I have been doing with um, hybrid calisthenics. Thank you. 
Is it still inside? I think it is. She's got this down as leaf, but she threw the rice as well. Same grain. Okay, so, oops, just about lost the balance there. Okay, well, I definitely feel like I've done something now. Much more than I did with the hybrid calisthenics. So, um, I know there's supposed to be another workout this morning, but holy shoot. I think perhaps um, we might have a couple of days at least with just the one. Um, so yeah, we'll do probably the rest of this week with just the one, which is effectively just a couple of days anyway, um, because Sunday is an active rest day for both programs. I'm still going to do the hybrid calisthenics this afternoon, um, and today's is pull-ups and squats. She actually works out quite well because I didn't do either of those exercises in that routine just then. So, yeah, okay. That is it for me for today. I'm going to check the weather forecast and see if they've updated it. See if we're going to have some sun this afternoon. And then I guess I'll find out whether they're lying or not. Because I really want to get that stuff done. Um... And I can't really afford to be going out and buying a ring light, but I might have to anyway. Just simply because I need to get this finished. And the way the weather's going, I'm not going to be getting it finished. And you know, I've got stuff to get done. This is annoying. So I'll just bring you in here so you can see. Ignore the lights here. So, yeah, I have got the third layer of plaster done on this wall. Technically, the third layer has actually been done everywhere, but um, the plaster that I was using for most of them um, doesn't give me the smooth finish that I want. So I've got to do an extra layer on top of the ones that I used that for. 
um, and then I should be able to just send that and then do the skim coat. So yeah, that's basically it for today. I will see you guys probably not tomorrow. I will be working out tomorrow, but it's the weekend. Um, and yeah, the house is generally full of teenage boy and boys rather and husband, none of whom want to be on my videos. And I'm happy enough with that, but just it's too difficult to, to film without them turning up in it. So, yep, and then Sunday is the day off, so I should be back on Monday, all going well. Um, and, yeah, we'll take it from there. Basically, I'm expecting to be doing it pretty much every day. Uh, the, the active rest days, as they call them. Okay, thank you for watching. If you like my content, please subscribe and like. Or ring the bell as so many people say <laughs> and I will see you guys next time bye